Hello there. Okay, so I started this process by cutting a couple of masks out of Tyvek, just mailing envelopes that I had gotten. And that works fine and it's nice and thin. This is sitting on my jelly plate right now because I've been printing on it. Um, as long as it doesn't have to move, but this one has broken in the middle. So I figured these Tyvek envelopes are not that sustainable. They're not that easy to use. So I went looking for something else and uh, ended up pulling some decent prints with these. Just moving these around and taking print after print of different colors on top. This was just actually a pickup sheet. And then this one. So I cut some others out of. Sorry, Catus interruptus. Um, so anyway, um, I don't have Upo, didn't have Upo paper yesterday. And so I went, I have this paper called Render Paper, which is a Upo paper like thing that you can use. Um, alcohol inks on and they won't bleed through the render r-e-n-d-r paper however if you look closely at these the render paper is paper it's in layers and as soon as it gets wet on the jelly plate the layers start flaking off so this stencil has broken you know has flaked off a bunch of pieces of it um and i thought well that's not sustainable so the last time i Put ink, um, put paint on it. And I just, you know, didn't do anything else except pull a print, let it dry, so that it might strengthen these. But I didn't know, and so I went out and, of course, of course, of course, I did. I had to buy some Upo paper. So this was the only thing I found at our art store. There you can see it. Anyway, this is, you know, um, our everybody's favorite jelly print queens, the uh, P&M Artist Studio. They make all of their stencils on Upo paper, and I can see why. So I got out my trusty Upo paper, and I put my stencils, or my pieces from yesterday on there and traced around with my um, archival inks. So now I'm pulling these guys out and then I'm gonna put these on the jelly plate with the other ones I have on there and do some pulls. So that's where we are now. I'm gonna stop the camera until I get this thing pulled out of the piece. So this could be used as a stencil once I get this out of here except for the fact that this is not there so I have to figure out a way to save this little piece if I want to use this little piece if I want to use the center one as a stencil I have to figure out how to put that little piece in so I'm gonna to have to put this back down on my board there's a couple places that aren't exactly pulling out uh, I don't want to tug at them I'd rather pull them out with the knife and so I will be back and so I played with those um, Yupo masks on my jelly plate for a while yesterday afternoon I got some kind of fun ones but then I watched Kirsten's video again and I figured out I was doing her technique all wrong so while I like these, I really want to try Kirsten's technique. So the difference between her technique um, and what I was doing, I just put these, I put the masks on the jelly plate. I left them there. I kept putting layers on top of them, which is a different technique. It's kind of like the technique that P&M Artist Studio was doing the other day, the long haul, and Devin Rex Art was doing the long haul printing where you leave the same stencil on the plate and you just pull print after print with different colors 
But what Kirsten is doing and what I wanted to try to copy was, you can't tell this is Kirsten's technique from this. <laughs> She puts the color down on the plate. She puts the masks on top of it. She pulls the print. She pulls the things off. Okay? She pulls the mask off. Waits for what's left to dry. Puts another color down. Puts the masks down differently. Puts a color on, pulls the masks up, pulls the print. Is that right? Is that what we did? Is that what we're doing? This one is not as interesting, maybe, though it is interesting. The other thing about this one is that it was made with this, this paper, this this stuff so this was pulling when I used that paper on the jelly plate it left little dots all over the jelly plate so that's one thing that's cool about this which I really like I, I just like the grunginess of all that okay this is the one that I pulled several layers on this including a bronze, a metallic blue, and a diazonine purple. Maybe there's a black in there somewhere. Anyway, that was not so pretty until I put the last layer of diazonine purple on it, and then it became really gorgeous. It's going to become a Christmas card for a friend today. So, she's a purple lady. <laughs> she's a purple friend. <laughs> How about that? Um, so this is going on to her, the front of her Christmas card today after I finished filming this. This was the one that I really liked. And I'm going to tell you what the layers were. You can't see them in there, but I started out with one of the green ones from yesterday. Like, well, not like that one, but like one of these, which is what I'm going to start out with today. I start out with one of those. I put a color down. So I started with Naples yellow. And then I put the masks down. I did pull pulled the print. No. I put the mask down, pulled the print, took the masks off, and let it dry. So I'm gonna do a round of that uh, <clears throat> right now. So my layers were Naples Yellow, Deep Magenta, Black Tie, and Gold. I used gold to pull the pull the print off. So I think I'm going to go more than three layers. I think I'm going to do a white and maybe something else before I do the gold on this one. So we'll see. It'll be different. But anyway, I'm going to get these out of the way so I don't mess up the ones I want to keep. These are the ones I want to keep. These are the ones I want to print on. Here we go. To not leave that on for long. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Now that I'm going to have to wait for it to dry. Now isn't that interesting? Now here is my print from that. See, I'm trying to figure out why it looks like that. 
because it's getting it's getting okay okay so then I did a deep magenta Ooh. Well, well, well. Look at that. Now that's interesting. Guess I gotta get off of here before it. This is just deli paper. So, isn't that interesting? Get these up off there before I kill them. Okay. Get. Well, I think that's pretty. See, I wish I'd left that white in the middle, but it's not bad.
but I'm going to put another layer on. I want to be in love. Ooh. Oh. Well, I can't hate that. Okay. I'm going to let it go here. Interesting. I like how the black shows through. And if I hadn't taken that up in the center, the black would have showed through there a lot better. See, you can see the black over here underneath. And you can see the gold on top. I like that one pretty much. I'm going to stop here and keep printing and playing, and if I come up with some good stuff, I will tack it on at the end. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Well, the Tooth Fairy left me a little present on my desk. Isn't that fun to have another artist in the house? Those are totally cute. Okay. Sorry for the distraction. I did print a few more prints. I do like them. Um, you know, I'm not totally as thrilled with any of mine as I was with Kirsten's. So, but this, this is pretty on this uh, wrapping paper that's got the shiny dots on it. I really think that's fun. Okay, so that was one of the ones I did this morning. This one I did this morning, and I was going to put a bunch more layers on it, but I just thought that was perfectly wonderful to leave it just like this and not go anywhere else. So I'm very happy with that one. This was just a pickup print, and it'll probably get printed on, but I also kind of like that. So if it gets used before it gets put away, okay, before it gets reprinted. This was the other one I did uh, with multiple layers. Um, I guess that's my bottom line. I'm still not as happy with my set as I was with Kirsten's. Which doesn't mean that I'm a total failure. It just means that I haven't found my, my niche in this particular technique yet. So I may try to carve some other things out of um, Yupo paper, slenderer leaves like Kirsten used, and try that one time. But I'm ready to move on to other carvings, other arts, see what happens next. Who knows what happens next? Because it hasn't happened yet. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.